Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, Dr. Man and Jayperson, for inviting me. And uh, has been a very successful. My congratulations to all the party bear. The topic allotted to me is diabetic drug and heart health, and uh, it's a very important topic considering uh, that CV are very required in uh, any patient with diabetes. The reasons are uh, there, and uh, we try to what what are the reasons? Why is it? Because cardiovascular leading cause of mortality and diabetes almost dead attributed to diabetes diabetic patients because of cardiovascular disease directly. So uh, there has been historically about uh, cardiovascular risk benefit or harm by diabetic drugs. So uh, they ha there have been an introduction of CBOTs which uh, mandates that all the diabetic drugs should have trials before they come to the in the, their post surveillance. So <laughs> basically it was just to uh, confirm that uh, it is not um, the drug is not harmful for uh, patients who have got cardiovascular disease. But now uh, we have seen uh, as Dr. Pancholi has already reiterated that they are beneficial in patients with diabetes or non-diabetic in heart failure and so on and so forth. So my endeavor today will be quite in-depth uh, summary of is that we offer a practical perspective to patients for diabetic drugs and their heart. So uh, this is uh, something which is very important that we should not first do any harm to the baseline why CBO have been devised. So why CBO are important is because uh, in uh, 2005, uh, Mura Glitazar was associated and which was taken back by the innovators. Then uh, 2007, Rose Glitazone uh, um, in, uh, indicated that there is an increase in CBO risk and uh, um, cardiac death. So, uh, 2008, uh, new FDA guidance said that all the patients, all the newer drugs which will come would have a mandatory CBO that we, we, are, uh, we know that it is uh, safer to use in diabetic patients because of its close association with cardiovascular disease. Now, uh, after in 2012, uh, AMA also had a uh, mandatory requirement of diabetes. The impact was very um, forthcoming and that was that approach before the CBOT was focused on metabolic parameters and bringing down the sugar level only. After the CBOT, I mean, there is a new um, paradigm that we have seen that it is important evidence that patients with diabetes can be benefited by drugs which are diabetic as far as the cardiovascular outcome is concerned. Based on the effective evidences, actual clinical event from CBOTs, the latest guidance, guidance provide a roadmap for selecting a right medication for the right patient time. The FDA criteria for requirement of uh, post-marketing trials is that it is between 1 and, uh, 1 and 1.3 the confidence interval. If it's less than uh, 1, then it is superiority and the patient and the drug is approvable with no post-marketing study. At 1, at the confidence interval of 1, it is uh, beneficial and non-inferior does not require a post-marketing study. Between 1 and 1.3, uh, it may or may not be, in, it is non-inferior but it requires a post study. So um, that is what it is. And uh, after 1.3, I mean, drugs are not approved because of in cardiovascular. So uh, what do we know so far about CV diabetes? A lot that we've been that. And these are the completed and ongoing diabetes. Last was Freedom CV right? at 4. Point. The green, the green uh, slides our GLP-1 receptor and analog, it started with leader trial with leader glutide and sustained six and uh, how many trials, all these are basically, there is a significant reduction of point mace uh, in C and so was Emparec outcome, I mean everything was rolled out uh, Emparec um, outcome and we know the history as already. These are uh, the overview of trials of significant reduction in is basically empiric outcome and uh, if you sites whenever there is a 
less than 0.1 of confidence interval one and are significantly beneficial the death is 0.6 empiric outcome in canvas it is 0.8 uh, amplitude aglutide is 0. in leader it is 0. are all beneficial cardiovascular deaths and significantly so uh, these are the three of news uh, diabetes and uh, if all the dpp4 inhibitors are either uh, they are uh, neutral they do not have any benefit of um, being a diabetic drug and improving heart outcomes secondly uh, the SGLT2 all know that uh, they all rec uh, it reduce the cardiac death the hospitalization significantly and death from any cause death from any cause is the most important thing uh, manipulated a death is a death Heart failure death is uh, something that we diagnose, so it's very difficult to diagnose a heart failure death. So in all the trials, the most important parameters that I feel death from any cause is the most important because it cannot erred, it cannot diagnose. There is no that. So death from any cause in leaders and empiric um, outcome, I would say very very first finding comparison of all CBO inhibitors they were new cardio protective and in fact uh, saver timi exactly was uh, it had more heart failure because uh, cv uh, ot's of SGLT 2 all have you know the maces has is less than one all of them and uh, here and uh, all the cv um, SGLT2 that there is a reduction in heart failure hospitalization, heart failure in any patient with cardio, uh, heart failure because every hospitalization uh, mortality by around 50 next one year. It is the eclipse heart failure hospitalization has to be therefore it important parameter all cases. This was GLP uh, one uh, receptor agon diabetes uh, apart from uh, exenide and elixir trial all the maces on the left of uh, left side of one are in trial whether it is leader with glutide, it started the roller coaster of uh, glp1 re uh, receptor antagonist whether it is axel harmony rewind and last pioneer pioneer is was a trial which has four maces now uh, diabetic medication and their cardiovascular just take by the group, and uh, this was uh, metformin by and it outcome by and that it in of APD trial. Uh, Sulfonylurea older generation have been persons of the mind has been cardiovascular mortality in newer second generation. Right, uh, I mean these before two thousand eight. Right was. Lipton in Carolina trial that both the drugs were and uh, for cardiovascular adverse out, uh, cardiovascular outcome. Basically, they did not, but definitely safer. Glenides, uh, nitaglenides, and repaglenides uh, they do not have uh, data. So navigator trial um, that uh, night. Uh, Impaired glucose defect cardiovascular uh, alpha glucose and there was an does not reduce cardiovascular morbidity or mortality can be purely given for control of blood sugar as a third and fourth uh, glitazone uh, we all know that they causes heart failure and water retention persons a heart failure as far as uh, risk of heart failure then iris trial has suggested that it in the future risk of stroke or mi in patient number needed those who uh, glitazone did not have any cardiovascular for inhibitors more all except saxagliptin um, uh, persons cardiovascular da and data with saxagliptin as the that it in heart failure and recurrent admin. Parameter. 
uh, leader trial has shown that up over the period of four years that the death for cardiovascular cause is by uh, the number needed uh, uh Alexa trial has shown that uh lignatide has got cardiovascular out what do the guidelines such take of this all the guidelines suggest that um consider cardiovascular risk and then high risk cardiovascular all the guidelines i think and have a put down a strong voice that uh, ASCB or high risk patient diabetes there are GLP agonist and or an uh, 20 uh, 20 ADA guidance that in, in high risk of the GLP one uh, with or without metformin it is uh, this Heart failure, I would not go into it. That considering independently of HbA1c target and metformin use, uh, SGLT2 heart failure, heart failure, and so uh, I mean, uh, KC has suggested that impagliflozin, anaplizin, and dapagliflozin, all the three are recommended for heart failure diabetes. Just uh, to tell you that heart failure by all uh, the glee flow and uh, by around 35 percent. SP night uh, in amplitude trial as a heart failure, heart failure. the tune of 40 percent. Uh, summary of benefit is that uh, cardiovascular benefit is uh, significantly altered by uh, irregularite impact. That they save life in diabetes mellitus, which and these life is flow and liraglutide and right. On more of the inertia is still there that most uh, I mean a lot of patients after the insight from all will I heavily on us physicians make that change. Chapter antagonist as against, and uh, my take on this is very clear trials that has been in years. But we in all the trials, we have not have seen any cardiovascular risk with diabetic drugs, the newer diabetic drugs, whether continue with trials which in the diabetic drugs. Second, uh, there is a lack of attention on component other components of diabetes, and we are ourselves on. In patients with diabetic drug, which is wrong, I feel, and obtain a quick result and a robust result. We have included high risk patients and patients with cardiovascular disease. Uh, very, very, and uh, not uh, do that because that's not the practical that we see day in, day out in patients with diabetes. We cannot justify at this day and age that the trial should be on uh, placebo, they should be on. Two drugs which are equally uh, efficacious to so find out the best of best because uh, money is very important and thing from so in practice when we diagnose a diabetes evaluate cardiovascular risk if there is a cardio ASCV high risk feature SGLT inhibitors or GLP and with or without metformin first on our uh, Conclude that CVOT has led to a paradigm shift and it came with empiric outcome. And uh, say the topic uh, has toppled right across from diabetic drug and heart, which was healthy heart with diabetic drugs. Uh, I think that this is uh, if we control the blood sugar, we control control diabetes, control cardiovascular mortality, and we also control malaria. Rest of the S virus. Thank you for your kind attention. Thanks a lot.